A boom boom ch a boom ch a boom boom ch Algebra two was really fun because we had class with Solomon. We learned a lot, but we won't float. We got some help from the late of the go. Now we've got some education. It's time to wrap all of these equations. Boom ch a boom boom ch a boom ch a boom boom ch. First we have direct a boom, variation. A boom, y equals ax a boom, its boom, equation. Boom, Slope boom, intercept is y equals mx plus b. That's boom, not too hard. Boom, Don't you agree? This boom, kind of line should also be boom, in point boom, slit form. Y boom, equals y1 plus a, a times boom, x boom, minus x1 boom, at its norm. A boom, 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 a boom, boom. Now boom, it's time for quadratics you see. Y equals a squared plus bx plus c. That's called the standard form. It is easy. E. Y equals a x minus h squared plus k. That is the vertex form. Hip hip hooray! If you lack the vertex and can't find your way, just take the opposite h comma k. The intercept form is not hard to do. Y equals x minus b x minus q. These are the points where x meets the line. To get the solution, just switch the signs. If you're too dumb to factor and don't know this from, do not freak out. Do not cry up a storm. Just know negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And you'll get the answer you need right away. A boom. 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 A
<laughs> the answer to X is so groovy and red. Got a fractional expert. No need to go mad. Just put X to the power of the fraction's top. What the denominator is N, take the answer, then stop. But pay careful attention. Radicals can be tricky. You throw in negative numbers and the math can get icky. If you take the square root of negative 1, you will be sure to have lots of fun. The answer you get is imaginary I. You can't really grasp it, so don't even try. With fractions and I in the denominator can seem really tough, but don't dare wait for later. Multiply by the conjugate. <laughs> and you'll see. We're easy, you see. As long as you scream. Boom. A boom boom. Boom. A boom boom. Next we have inverse variation. Like with K over X is its equation. These graphs give you something called asymptotes, where the graphs never cross but only approach. Asymptotes can be shifted to the left or the right, and vertically shifted to just the right height. With a series of numbers lined up in a row, you need some equations to see how they grow. An arithmetic sequence will grow by addition. T n equals t1 plus d n minus 1. And the sequence instead has a common ratio. T1 times r to the n minus 1 is how the terms grow. The reverse of these are quite easy, you see. Use the previous term times the n or plus d. And lastly, the thing that we're all waiting for, the cube galactic mm -hmm. equation. You know what it's for. We spoke of quadratics, and that was easy. Cubedratics is when you have x to the 3. Entertaining show. It is time for us to go. Adios, amigo. What now? I don't know. Back out. Wait. And if you're worried about our sanity, don't worry. We are too. We're just special triangles. Thirty, sixty, ninety. No, silly. Forty-five, forty-five, ninety special triangles. Oh. <laughs> well, well, well. At least we've got rhythm. <gasps> Did someone say rhythm? No, no, no. I think we I did. Think we did. Logarithms, logarithms. We've got math class. Who could ask for anything more? Exponentials, you can't find them. Use a log and solve for x. Logarithms, exponentials. Sully's math class. Who can ask for Let me teach it to you in a jiffy. To choose some in a certain set, you have to know these two things yet. When order doesn't matter, we have combinations. This is Rosemary talking. Doesn't it sound like me? No, it doesn't. This sounds like Rosemary. Hi!